All right, first video of 2020 goes to this one. My first official Carpenter and Colony update video. My upload schedule has been looking pretty good and my colonies have been growing steadily but surely. But anyways, how have you guys been? It's been about two whole months since you last heard my most recent commentary and actually not that much has happened with my colonies. If you've been watching my previous videos, I've been steadily updating you guys on this colony like my how to raise an ant colony video where there were only at two workers. And now look at them, 20 workers strong. I'm super proud of them. If you couldn't tell already though, this video will be showing the creation process of how I made their cubes and tubes set up. I began with the substrate, a bit of red sand, and beach sand. I wanted it to be more red, so I put in some more coarse red substrate later. Next I went to my rock collection and picked out some rocks to match with the soil. And I was originally thinking of these orange ones. but I went with the gray ones instead to match the bark pieces I would be adding in later. The main thing about these enclosures is I want to add some kind of height so that it wouldn't be as flat or lying low. One day I might even plan on putting a nest in one of these when I have a larger colony for my other queens in the founding stage. Let me know your thoughts on this final design. I wanted to add some more twigs or pine cones, but I realized I wouldn't have as much space to put in some test tubes or feeders. Since the most important thing about an enclosure is being able to put in food and being able to take it out easily. So I've been needing to put this colony in another test tube because they ran out of water. Even when I was trying to move them to another test tube though, they wouldn't budge. So I had to take matters into my own hands and break the test tube just enough to fit it into the setup. Now they would be huddled here for a few months until they were more comfortable with their new home. Only until December is when I noticed the first workers foraging actively. And now the weather is starting up, so it's good to see this colony being more active. I haven't seen them climb the acrylic yet, so I'm wondering if they can even climb this smooth surface.
Anyways, this Campanatus colony is definitely one of my favorites, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this colony. Now, we'll go ahead and take a look at my Campanatus CF Regillus colony. Many of you guys have said that this species looks like Fragilis, and it looks more like it than Festinatus. The workers are much more yellow than Festinatus too, so I'll be going with CF Fragilis from now on. The colony has been growing really well, and are ready to be moved into a cubes and tube setup. Mainly so I can give them water, and it'll be easier to feed them. Unlike my other colonies, this species is really fast, probably the fastest ants I've kept and seen. The workers bolt straight for the rim whenever there's the slightest disturbance around the setup, making the first few weeks of feeding this colony really difficult. Later, I applied an olive oil barrier, and I rarely see them climb up the acrylic now. For about a few weeks, they stayed in their original test tube before moving to the one I gave them. Once they moved in, I added seashells and more stones to make the setup less bland. My other Camponatus colony of the species needs a new test tube, but they're not willing to move. I feel like I'll put them into a cubes and tube setup too. What do you guys think I should do? Leave your suggestions and thoughts in the comments. To end off this video, I'd want to wish all of you guys good luck with finding Queen Ants this nuptial season. Personally, I'm looking forward to finding Pogono Myrmix and Fadoli. And also a mate for my Aphanogaster Elite. If you watched this far, thank you for clicking on this video. More videos are on the way for sure. My name is Enderance, another fellow ant YouTuber, and I'm back boys!